got to tell you, we have another tag team match. What is amazing is that this tag team, these tag team guys, there's a lot of, of good tag teams in this, in this organization. We're going to really represent them in the Northeast with some pretty excellent tag teams. And I got to tell you, I, I'm, I'm thinking the SAT might not be the guys that run roughshod over a whole division again. No, Kevin, I want I to agree with you there, but we have a stacked tag team roster. And earlier tonight, I would have said this could have been one of our prominent teams. But after the heinous act they caused during our intermission, attacking HC Moe, Closely 
with JP and Tommy Grayson and made a call to his brother, Donnie B, the former manager of the original Backseats, and said to him, hey man, these kids, they remind me so much of the Backseats. And so Johnny Cashmere getting that call from Donnie, and Johnny Cashmere going on a journey of his own to christen the Graysons as the new Backseats. We saw him visit the grave of Trent Acid, the the legend himself to get his blessing, so to speak, on passing the mantle on. But, you know, Kevin, I gotta ask you. They got the look, they got the name. Are they gonna be able to earn the legacy of the backs of the back seats? Because it's not just the name. The name doesn't make the team, the team makes the name. If they go on a win streak and get a winning record in win, wrestling is now. These guys, uh, uh, I want to say they look good. I want to say they seem to have chemistry. However, if their manager can get involved and help them pull off some victories and they can stop dancing, I think they have a very successful... You want the back seats to stop dancing? I don't want them to stop dancing. It is kind of, well, you know, listen, I'm not a dancer. Yet so far there for Tommy. Shocking that Seth did not try to break that up there. I thought Seth, uh, Micah, did not try to break that up there. I thought Seth was done. It could have been, but again, the audacity looking to play fair again. Kevin, not everyone wants to cheat to win. Seth, Seth Cortez has been on the receiving end of a lot of punishment, including that flurry of offense and the, all that heart attack I don't cover by JP Grayson here. Uh, on that heart attack, I noticed his head didn't hit the ring apron. His head actually made contact with the knee of Tommy Grayson. Seth Cortez may be experiencing concussion-like effects. Except he's, he's making his comeback now, so that concussion might have been short-lived. Unless this is just adrenaline in the last bit here. Can he make the tag to his brother? Oh, so close yet so far. JP. Oh, here we go. Tried to keep him away, but he didn't make the tag. Play back to Micah. Johnny Cashmere distracting Ozzy. They made the tag, but unfortunately Ozzy didn't see it. Well, Ozzy didn't have his glasses on. This is true. Where are his glasses? He, he, it, it has nothing to do with the glasses. It has to do with the brilliance of Johnny Cashmere. He knew exactly when to have a conversation about the beard on Micah Cortez with the referee. And obviously that is not what he was doing. I can only guess. Or he was making a Venmo transaction. I think Kevin Cashmere's got a nice beard. Can we stop talking about beers and the beer oh, here? What a reversal oh, by Elbow. Seth Cortez. Double knees, dropping the knees onto the shoulder blades. Oh, look at that. And we get the tag. Here we go. Like a house of fire comes Micah. Drop it. Cortez ready to inflict punishment oh. on the new Backseats! Cover by Micah! Around the world with that Michinoku, the audacity Michinoku. looking to prove why they are one of the tag teams here at Win that's looking to set the tone here at our show here tonight at the big fight. These two teams, this is a really good good rivalry. This reminds me of the back in the ECW days. The Backseats. They kind of remind me of Public Enemy a little bit, you know, except it's pop and not hip hop. Yes. And the audacity kind of reminds you of the Eliminators a little bit. You know what? I, I, get very, I get very LOD vibes from them, minus the muscles. True. No spikes on their shoulder pads. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, their hair is way long. Way long. Hulk However, Hulk would never improve. Kevin, I have to ask you, though, you are a former tag team champion. What are your thoughts so far on this tag team Covered by Micah. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm impressed with both of these teams. I'm impressed with the trios match. Uh, and, uh, 
you know, I was impressed with uh, with the end, even though they got put to a table. Uh, the slime balls are a little a little weird, and the Gordons, you know, something with the Gordons. I think uh, I think they were distracted in that. Time. Well, the slime balls did get a victory. Double springboard back elbow. You gotta like that. Out of Micah. Oh, here we go. Another tag by the Audacity. Tag and they put it away here. Because they have been going toe to toe with the new back seats here. And you gotta wonder if it's a one night yeah. wonder. Pete, sorry to cut you off there. But Johnny Cashmere again getting involved. Come on. He's pointing at the oh. pointing at the beard again. And JP. That's not what he's doing, Kevin. JP you know. able to get. Wait, no. That is the triple. The T gimmick. But a triple T. I gotta tell you. This. This guy, Johnny Cashmere, he seems to be the most brilliant man in New Jersey right now. A variant of the team giving. The back seats are here. And they are new. The new back seats. JP and Tommy Grayson alongside Johnny Cashmere. First they attack HC Low, then they do underhand attack like this, what is Johnny Cashmere teaching JP and Tommy? Well, I'll tell you what, there's one, there's one down floor with this victory with the new back seats. I didn't get to see him swing the back. Kevin! And listen, whatever he's teaching them, you gotta hope that it leads JP and Tommy to the same legendary status that it led the original back seats to. I hope it does. Again, we're talking about tag team wrestling. I can't wait to see when we crown those inaugural wrestling and now tag team champions. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see the last, that's the last we're going to see in the world.